Hey guys, what's going on? Adam's Prime here coming at you with another new series where I'm going to be taking you from the very start of Islands, as you can see here on Isla Takano, and I'm going to take you up to how I chose to go to five stars. Now, something that may make some of you disappointed or may not matter to you at any at, at all but what i'm going to be doing is i'm not going to redo the entire playthrough because i feel like enough youtubers have already gone through that entire process with you so you've seen that done quite a few times so i'm just going to be as if i've unlocked all the dinosaurs and all that but even though I, i've already had it set to unlock all the dinosaurs i'm not going to be using every single dinosaur to my advantage i'm going to try to use the very minimal or I don't know basic dinosaurs is I guess is what you can call them to uh, aid me in this journey so that way it's easy to follow it's not too complicated by any means and as well as I'm going to go through oh, I'm completely sorry I just completely had a <laughs> a brain fart there I forgot what I was gonna say but it'll, it'll come back to me later on but as you can see here now uh, I've already done my uh, my traditional start here on this island. Now, with that being said, if you haven't seen that video that I've published, I'll go ahead and put it up in the top right corner somewhere, probably around now, and then you guys can check that out. Uh, that's how I choose to start every single time, and you get some pretty decent money, cash flow coming in, etc., etc. But let's see, what do I need? I think I need the bowling alley, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wait forgot to remove this there we go squeeze that on in there and of course I accidentally deleted the uh, massive fancy path so let's uh, put that back in there and there we are alright so now we're gonna need some power running to this as well so let's get a po substation going right there as well as come in here get some nice cheap fences that I can handle a nice heavy steel fence yeah that's cheap enough we can deal with that I don't need a curved fence or anything. I'm just gonna come on in, build this to get as much surface area as I can, but not too much so that way it doesn't run down my cash stack entirely. So come over here again. Maybe one curved fence. Oh, nope. Never mind. Making it a little too hard. There we go. Kind of a little bit of a speed build there, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Alright, so come over here. Let's go ahead and get a nice, very basic Triceratops coming in. Because that's usually the dinosaur of choice here. Or at least for me, is what I like to choose. Actually, I think I have enough to make two as well. So I'll do one with that pattern. And I'll modify another one out to have a different pattern. There we go, two dinosaurs. And then by the time that one comes in, I believe I should have enough... Actually, let's see what this uh, contract is real quick. I've received an uh, Kendra Source, I should have taken the contract the first. Division. That's going to be one thing that is going to be well. extremely helpful whenever you start out on islands, or really just when playing this game in general. It's just going to be... Well, that's weird that it says I don't have any of these unlocked right now. Oh, so every time you restart, you can redo the missions as well. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you want to see me redo these missions or not. I completely didn't even bother to check that. That's a an amateur mistake on my end. A complete apology. But, yeah. So, let me know down in the comments if you want to see me do the missions as well to come inside of here and just maybe spice it up a little bit. But, uh, one thing that I am not going to do is that I'm not going to sit here and mainly ramble on while I wait for money or something of the sort. I know, ironic and <laughs> kind of uh, contradicting because I'm doing it now. But... Let's not waste any more of that time, so I'll see you whenever I have those two Triceratops are in here. Their wealth, their comfort is all the way up at 100%, and I probably have about like a, I don't know, a, a, a million dollar buffer, just so that way I can still make a, enough quality <laughs> improvements to the park before I have to go to the next break. Alright, and we're back, and see, it really, really only took about 8 minutes, but the reason I want to express uh, how important it is to get contracts is this right here. As you can see, I just got a free $100,000 for no power outages. So I, I literally got that. It was a 10 minute thing, 
and then I went away, came back, and then that's how long it took to get this million dollars. Now, obviously, people are like, oh, 10 million dollars of just, or 10 minutes of just sitting here doing nothing, but like, really, just uh, with a tycoon game that suffers from not having a fast forward button, unfortunately, it's it's kind of what's this gonna have to happen. That we should get so, but basically, you just accept all the, uh, the contracts you can, certain ones that you want to get rid of, like a combat victory one. I don't really see myself having to remake dinosaurs anytime soon, but there we are. Just over a uh, million dollars. Now we're gonna add some more dinosaurs because obviously more dinosaurs, more income, etc. So I think I'm gonna go with something very nice and cheap and simple. And that is none other than the Struthiomimus. Oh, I went way above. Actually, you know what? I have one for a Kentrosaurus with brain aging modification. So let's get some of those in here. Mod him down a little bit. Give him. Ooh, a coastal on him, sure. Alright, so brain aging, I think, is. Oh, it's already on there for the turtle. Alright, so let's get everything else off of there. And hopefully it'll decrease the the cost by quite a bit. Ooh, it's still gonna eat up about half of our cash, but I think it ends up giving about $200,000 in return. Well, let's just hope that the viability ends up staying, okay? Actually, that reminds me. I might as well go ahead and do the success rate by three. Yeah, it's only uh, 60,000. I, I can afford to invest that in here. Kentrosaurus with the brain aging. Let's just make sure I have it on there before I make this expensive dinosaur and then not. Okay, there we go. Brain aging, and it is underway. I need to sell. Hmm. That actually wouldn't be too hard either, except for I have to build the uh, containment unit entirely. Now, also what I want to do is I think I'm going to build another viewing center or a viewing platform or gallery, something along those lines. But let's see how all of this is going and where I would need to put it. I would need to build it uh, down here or something. And then that means that the, the fun and food and everything would go down quite a bit because it would be far away from the center so actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone to for the time let's see and then there's one Kentrosaurus I'm not sure if it needs two or not so I'm gonna hold off on that a little bit a little bit of uh, leeway there so I think with this extra little bit of money I'm gonna go ahead and start constructing the next exhibit over here to where I can control a little bit more I'm gonna think I'm gonna bring it all the way over to the edge just like the last time. Ooh, built it a little close to the edge, really. There we go. Make a pretty decent sized exhibit. Um, yeah, I think we can deal with there. Right there is fine. And then obviously as it goes in, uh, if we need to, to redo any little bit in order to fit some attractions or anything in between there we will but I don't think we're going to actually have to hey just Styracosaurus huh we should get behind I think we can do that and then we can go ahead and throw Styracosaurus in here as well like let's, uh, no let's see whatsoever. how much that's gonna cost just actually a few of the little things okay oh, whoops I hit the and wrong anyway, button there uh, let's uh mod him out a little bit let's see where is it at right here okay now, if I'm not mistaken, this, this dinosaur should already be unlocked. But let's go ahead and just throw down one of those and then completely take all the other mods off. Still ends up to be a... F oh, actually less than a half a million dinosaur. Okay, so that's not too bad. 400,000. To make three of them? It shouldn't be that bad. Alright, so back over here. I don't think I'm going to make another creation lab. I think I'll invest into the uh, asset containment unit here in a little bit after I'm finished making this exhibit so with that I'm gonna need obviously a little bit of water just uh, throw it in the center and maybe another one over here just cuz cosmetic is, is, is kinda nice to have there we go let's see and then let's go ahead and throw down some viewing platforms coming in here see if I can angle it just right Maybe if I... There we go. 
come back and do enclosures real quick. So now the angle is going to be really key because the, obviously the higher of a uh, ooh sorry the higher of a view percentage you have the the more money you're going to make off of those specific uh, attractions. Let's throw this one in here. It's, it's going to be obstructed, huh? They believe it's going to be obstructed by the trees and such. So let's uh, go ahead and remove all this again, unfortunately, even after I just put it down. Alright. So third time's the charm. Let's go ahead and put this viewing platform in. And there we go. See, that angle is perfect. And it's going to go straight through, no problem. Now I think another viewing gallery would be fine right here. And there we go. Go ahead and... And just like that, we're almost burnt through all of our money again. Let's just go with a cheap pathway, just because, you know, whenever you're just playing to get five stars for a sense of completion, there's absolutely no need to even spend money on the expensive path. So there we go. Those ones are going to be in effect. We're going to have to obviously power them real quick. So let's come through and build just that one substation. And then we can connect it across right over here. Let's see. Perfect. There we go. Where's it saying no power is at? Ooh, and actually we have our Kentrosaurus ready to come out, so that should be some extra money coming into our pocket. I just hope that we're not going to need too much more of them, otherwise it might get a little risky here. <laughs> some, some guests are going to get injured. Because if it can need two more, that shouldn't be a big deal. We could, we could sell off, but if it needs three or four, it's going to be a bad day. Oh, but look, three hundred thousand dollars. I can work get down with that. Oh, let's see. It looks like we're gonna need three. So let's go ahead and immediately get another one cooking up. Yeah, five hundred and six thousand. Okay. Hopefully you can hang out until then, man. <laughs> but if not, uh, you guys are definitely gonna find out. So there we go. That's what we have so far. Now, obviously, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, like I just did. Uh, a few seconds ago, or a few minutes ago on your guys' side. Probably wait another few minutes, grab another contract real quick. Oh wait, I have to get out of that menu first. Another science one, sure. Got a new offer Two stars for three minutes? We're not quite there yet, but that's a very easy one as well. Alright, so I'll see you guys back whenever I have that second Kentrosaurus and maybe the third one brewing up in here. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what obviously as you can see here as I, I decided to go on the safe side just because I forgot that up here is only a power plant and I thought that there was a ranger station up there for a second. Shame on me. So I had to delete those two as well as the emergency bunker over here. And I'm spending more time talking than I should because he's already about halfway down to where it's going to be painful <laughs> for the income because it's going to start more painful for the guests really. So there's one coming out there and one thing I did forget to do is I forgot to change up the skin modification now some of you are confused on that that just boosts a little bit more of your variety so that way obviously more people pay etc etc you guys get the drift from there also as you can see from my contracts down there i got rid of the styracosaurus one just because i wasn't sure if that was considered a basic dinosaur but i i believe the kentrosaurus is unlocked pretty pretty early on as well so i got rid of the styracosaurus so there we are. And we're running up on about the same amount of money that we needed in order to... Actually, you know what? Another rookie mistake and completely forgot to uh, throw in the gates. So let's go ahead and throw in some more some gates here. There we go. As well as release our final Pinterestors. Let's see. And then I should have enough to come back over here and finish off throwing in these viewing platforms. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just be right there and not have enough, but that's okay. There we go. Finish off the path as well. Like I said, cheap paths are the way to go because you can see just by the starting cost, that's already a thousand dollars. There's no point. Are in order. And there we go. See, that's why you also grab contracts all the time. Like that was a simple one. You know, just get 125,000 a minute. That's that's so simple. All right, so let's push this one back here. Let's connect that back through. Nice little cheap path. Sounds good. So now we've got that going. I think the next major upgrade I'm going to have to do, which I'll probably do in between episodes, because we're running up there on the time right there. 
on this one is uh, I think I'll grab another contract real quick for you as well as what I'm going to do in between episodes is probably we get an asset containment them. unit and I'm going to have to decline that one just because like I said I'm not, I'm not trying to kill as many dinosaurs but yeah just a little bit of patience and you're already up to 140,000 a minute you know you know it, even if you just go use the use the facilities and come you know wash your hands and come back you're going to be at like a half a million dollars you know so let me know if you guys are liking the way this is run the series is being run so far uh because this is this is just to aid you guys so but without further terribly sorry about that my mic cut out <laughs> but uh yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. This, uh, I'm going to take it all the way to five stars. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see those missions redone or not, the way I do them. All right, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Take care.